Hi, I'm Cleo. I'm a longtime tutor and a test prep expert here with study.com. So today we're going to be focusing on the Praxis Core Math Exam, which is test code 5733. And specifically, we're going to be looking at algebra. So I have three sample problems for you to get a sense of what to expect, and we're going to do them together now. All right, here we go. Okay, so the first problem we have today is this one, number one. Which of the following expressions is equivalent to 10y plus 15 for all numbers y? Well, this is really a factoring problem, so let's write it out. 10y plus 15. Okay, um, well, um, if we want to think about what we can divide both of these terms by to factor something out, um, let's see, what goes into both 10 and 15? That's going to be 5. So let's factor out a 5. Simplify there. We get 5. Uh, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Y, that doesn't change. Plus 15 divided by 5 is 3, right? So, okay, 5 times 2Y plus 3. Well, that is not any of the answer choices exactly as is. But if we look at the answer choices, there's one of them that is equivalent to this. Um, and I'm looking at the, the Y plus 3 in parentheses for number or letter choice A, rather. Um, that looks good to me because if we were to multiply that back in 5 times Y plus 3, Right, if we were to distribute that 5 like so, like so, we'd get 5y plus 15. But then the problem is giving us an extra plus 5 at the end, y. So 5y plus 5y is 10y, which brings us back to what we want, 10y plus 15. So the best answer there is answer choice A. All right, so next up we have problem number two. I'm going to just take notes as I read this. So let's see, select a number x, okay. Multiply the number by two. So two x, that's two times x. Subtract eight from the result. All right, minus eight. Divide the result by four. Here we go. So this is what it has described, right? If the result of the preceding computation is six, what is the value of x? So now we have a pretty straightforward algebraic equation. Um, we want to solve for x. So in order to do that, we have to isolate the variable. Um, we can start by, you know, PEMDAS in reverse, right? Uh, the first thing that we'd want to do here is multiplication division. So in order to get that x alone, we're going to start by multiplying both sides by 4 to undo what's there. Um, so we're going to get 2x minus 8 equals 24. 6 times 4. So now um, I still want to get that x alone. I have to undo that minus 8 by doing plus 8. But whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other. So 2x equals, well, 24 plus 8. 24 plus 6 is 30 plus an extra 2. That's 32. And then so close, we need to divide x by 2 or 2x by 2 rather um, to get that x alone. Then that simplifies to do, 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 do. I'm going to go up here for more space. Um, X equals 32 divided by 2. That is 16. Answer choice uh, B gives us 16. So that's our answer. Yay. Okay, so for our third problem here, we have a student used a calculator to multiply a number by 2 when instead the student meant to divide the number by 4. Oh, no. <laughs> Which of the following arithmetic operations can be performed to produce the intended result? Select all that apply. Okay, so it may be more than one. Um, this kind of problem, I think it's much easier to think in terms of a real number instead of being purely theoretical. So let's say we start with the number four. All right, four. And we wanted to divide by four. So we would have liked to do four divided by four, which simplifies to one. All right, but instead of that, we did four times two which is eight. So how do we get from eight back to one? Are we going to multiply by one half, which is the same as dividing by two? No. Um, are we going to multiply by two? No. If we divide eight by eight, we would get one. Yes. So that would work. If we multiply eight by one eighth, 
Um, that would be eight times one over eight. Eight is really the same as eight over one, right? So the eights would um, cross out there and we'd be left with one. So that also works. Dividing by eight is the same as multiplying by one eighth. So either one of those methods would get us back to our target number of one. Um, if you prefer to think about this in terms of x's and you know variables, I'll say, let's say we started with x and we wanted to divide by four. So we wanted x over four. But instead of doing that, we did x times two. That's two x, right? How do we get from two x to four? Well, I'm sorry, two x to x over four. Um, so if we check what we did for the other one, should still hold, right? So 2x divided by 8 would be, well, simplify the 2 and the 8 there, divide them both by 2. So 2 over 2 is 1. So that would just be 1 times x is x on top. And 8 divided by 2 is 4 on the bottom. So x over 4. Yay, that's what we wanted. That works. And just to check, that's the same as multiplying by 1 eighth, right? So 2x times. 1 over 8. Remember, 2x is really 2x over 1. So again, we're in the same position where 2 and 8 simplify. We divide them both by 2. We get x over 8 divided by 2 is 4. Yay, that's what we wanted. Okay, I hope that was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, you can check out all of our other videos and also make your way over to study.com where you can access tons more content. As a study.com member, you'll have access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones that we just did, as well as targeted instruction for specific topics that you want to look at and strategy to boost your score on test day. Uh, so we'd like to hear from you. Please let us know in the comments below if there are specific topics you'd like us to cover. And also you can like and subscribe if the video is helpful. Uh, thank you again and uh, good luck studying.